Young people who halt at a activity flag see a young lady. Gazing at them for an incredible reason. But some time recently we begin. If you don't mind make beyond any doubt to subscribe to MR.TV. And hit the chime so you never miss any transfer from us. Moreover, take off a like right presently. It is said that the ruddy light at a activity flag endures. Between one and a half to two minutes which is around 120 seconds. Whereas this may not appear like a long time. A parcel can happen inside two minutes. And a part certainly did happen when two young people, who were on their way to choose up a companion, spotted a wonderful young lady within the back situate of a car. Not one or the other of them anticipated their day to require. Such a extreme turn with an arrangement of occasions that taken after. This story started in Dallas, Texas, where two companions named Aaron Arias, who is 19, and Jamal Harris, 17, experienced a life-changing occurrence together. Aaron and Jamal have been companions for a long time. They have been considering at the same school since junior tall, and were beautiful near to each other. They had a normal life like all other youngsters. Until that one disastrous day. Apart from school. Aaron and Jamal shared one thing they were both enthusiastic almost. Which was car, they adored cars and knew everything around them. Aaron had fair passed his driving test. And took Jamal out for drives each chance they got. It was one of their favorite things to do. It was a cloudless Saturday morning. Jamal was fair wrapping up a breakfast when he got a content from Aaron inquiring Jamal to go with him on a drive. To choose up their companion stuck at work. Aaron told him he would come over to choose him up in half an hour. One basic for any drive was great music. Jamal was more of a shake and roll significant other. Whereas Aaron adored the pop charts. But by one means or another they made it work. Jamal was active picking out music for the drive. When he listened to Honk Exterior his front entryway. He dashed exterior to discover Aaron holding up for him. He hopped within the front situate. And lovely before long. They were on the street. It is said that driving in Texas could be a way of life. On the off chance that the goal is inside the lines. Individuals are driving to it. Individuals scarcely utilize open transportation here. This continuously implies that streets are for the most part stuck with individual vehicles to control this activity. There are perpetual signals spread over the city. So sometime recently they knew it. The boys came to a halt at a ruddy light. Aaron was tapping his finger on the wheel, murmuring along to the tunes Jamal picked out. Jamal, on the other hand, was active taking note the blonde in a dark car following to theirs. She was dressed in a beautiful dress with a few negligible gems. Her brilliant hair fell in curls on her shoulders, she was wonderful. No question, but there was something off approximately her. Jamal taken note the driver within the front situate, he was dark. Had edited hair nearly like a buzz cut. But he wasn't dressed in a uniform. He turned around to see at the blonde. And the blonde instantly looked absent. Her look set descending in her lap. Jamal found this small interaction kind of odd. But he didn't think as well much almost it. Jamal taken note the young lady looking at him. From the corner of her eyes, she looked on edge. He detected her inconvenience and looked absent. Expecting it was his look that made her awkward. The driver turned around and looked at him and Aaron. And after that the blonde, their eyes met briefly. And she quickly looked absent from the driver once more. Jamal scowled, something peculiar was going on here. Jamal's eyes landed on the young lady once more. And this time she was looking specifically at him. But he may examine something in her eyes. In case he wasn't mixed up. She had fear in her eyes. Jamal scowled in perplexity. He looked at Aaron, who was totally neglectful to the full thing.
Jamal pondered in the event that he was looking as well much into this. Sometime recently Jamal seemed say anything to Aaron. The light turned green. And the driver ventured on the quickening agent and drove absent. The car vanishing out of locate. Jamal was disturbed by contemplation presently. On the off chance that he wasn't mixed up. Something appeared to bother the lady within the car. But he couldn't figure out what it was. Jamal's head kept tossing thoughts at him approximately. What conceivable reason seem it be? For the young lady to be on edge or pitiful or anything. He couldn't peruse her confront. Perhaps she was on her way to the clinic to see a relative who was harmed. Or perhaps she was nervous about a work meet. But why did the driver see at her oddly? None of it made any sense. Some miles down the street. Jamal spotted the car once more. He couldn't make out much of what was happening from behind. But the blonde was looking around from the window. The driver was still hustling like his life depended on it. Another ruddy light coincidentally made them. Hold up another to each other once more. This time Jamal inquired Aaron to see. Aaron expected Jamal was talking almost how beautiful the young lady was. So he didn't take note anything else. Jamal thought he was probably overthinking all of this. And there was nothing to see into. Jamal noticed a look on him, it was the young lady once more. He kept up eye contact. Attempting to peruse her confront. He taken note her lips moving, she was attempting to say something to him. Jamal concentrated difficult to get at her. And her lips were trembling. Attempting to mouth something to him. Once it clicked what she was mouthing to him. Jamal's eyes extended. She was mouthing, offer assistance me. Jamal instantly turned to Aaron. And told him approximately it. He told Jamal to stop clowning around. But Jamal swore he's not clowning. Sometime recently Aaron seemed see it for himself. The car drove off once more. Jamal told Aaron to take after the car as he dialed 911 from his phone. Aaron was still not persuaded. But he taken after Jamal's informational besides. The administrator replied the call. 911, what's your crisis? Jamal reacted. Yes, I'm on the interstate. Seeing a burglary. No, not a burglary. A capturing. The boys told the administrator they were on Thruway 175. Right now taking after the car. The administrator inquired them to expound on what they saw. And how they were sure it may well be a seizing. Aaron reacted, we looked at the back situate. And the blonde female was saying, help me or something. Whispering it. The boys were right behind the car when they come to an active street. And some time recently they could tell. The car vanished into one of the paths following to the most street. Aaron begun freezing, he didn't need to lose them. They as it were have one shot at sparing her. The boys were befuddled. But a choice had to be made rapidly, something else. They would lose him for great. Aaron went with his intestine intuitive. And drove into the rear way another to the most street. It was abnormally purge at this time of day. But that also acted as an advantage to speed up and discover the fellow. After driving unendingly for a number of minutes. Jamal spotted the dark car many miles ahead of them. Getting back on the throughway. Aaron bounced on the gas pedal. And the car roared forward. They were back at it once more. Chasing the fellow down the roads of Texas. The boys were active talking to the administrator. When they taken note the car abating down marginally, and after that speeding off right away. Aaron squeezed down on the quickening agent and hustled behind him. The car's headlights were turned on and off more than once. Jamal and Aaron traded a knowing C, the driver knew he was being taken after. The boys were anxious that presently that he was mindful of being taken after. He might harm the young lady or harm them or murder all of them. They may see the young lady slamming her hand on the back windshield. Attempting to capture their consideration. 
They had to spare her from anything this appalling circumstance is. Indeed in spite of the fact that the driver was attempting to scare them. The boys remained centered. They proceeded taking after him whereas remaining associated on the call. He was driving insanely presently. Turning his car. Changing paths suddenly. Doing everything to lose them but Aaron was right on his tail. The administrator on the call inquired the boys to turn on the risk lights of their car. So that the closest watch car would spot them and mediate promptly. The boys did as told. Turning on the danger lights and kept taking after him. They were trusting to discover a watch car at any minute. The administrator told them to remain associated no matter what. Some time recently they knew it. The boys listened the police sirens coming from behind them. They both let out a murmur of help presently that the cops were here. There was no way he was attending to elude. Aaron saw the police cars taking over them and chasing the dark car. Presently getting the driver to halt. They kept driving still associated on the call. At the conclusion of the street Aaron may spot a bunch of cop cars holding up for them. The driver had no choice but to halt his car. The police went down and pulled him out of the car. Putting him in cuffs, the boys were excited, they caught the man. The cops opened the back entryway and let the blonde young lady out of the car. She was crying and trembling with fear. As before long as she spotted the boys. She ran over to them and embraced them. She said thanks to them earnestly for sparing her life. Jamal didn't think they merited her appreciation but it was lowering to get it. The cops commended the boys. And lauded them for their bravery and sharp instinctual. The casualty was at that point inspected by the paramedics for wounds. She had a serious head damage where she was hit by something unmistakably. The bruise from the injury was covered up behind her hair. Which clarifies why the folks couldn't spot her wounds and be cautioned sooner. Separated from this head damage and the self-evident injury. She was a firm and didn't endure from any other harm. The boys chased the dark car for almost 40 miles. Which is unfathomably courageous on their portion. It would have been so easy to not care and run the inverse way. But they chased him down and spared the young lady. No one was harmed. And they finished up catching the guilty party as well. It was a genuinely surprising signal. Indeed in spite of the fact that no one got harmed. The police had to explore all the subtle elements. They needed to know how the young lady finished up in her car with a criminal. They met the young lady for subtle elements, she braced herself and started. To tell them about the occurrence that she would never be able to disregard. It was around 11 pm final night when the young lady was coming domestic. From a youthful organizing party in downtown. She was strolling to her car when she felt three sharp blows on her head. Someone had thumped something into her head from behind. She accepts it was a handgun. The man at that point constrained her. Into the rearward sitting arrangement of her car. A couple of miles afterward. To avoid her from reaching anybody. He tossed her cell phone out the window. The young lady conceded that her brain was losing awareness since of the harm. But she had a feeling she was almost to be assaulted and slaughtered by this man. When the young lady picked up awareness once more. The man was still driving. And the sun was sparkling exterior. That's when they halted at a ruddy light. And she spotted the boys within the car another to theirs. She considered this to be her minute, she was attempting to battle for her life. So she attempted to meet the boy's eyes and trusted they'd taken note her. Running a foundation check. The man driving the car was recognized as Charles Atkins Lewis Jr. He was charged with irritated seizing. Moreover, the handgun found within the car was not authorized. Which acted as another ruddy hail. Indeed in spite of the fact that the man was distinguished. The cops might not point out the thought processes behind this act. He didn't know the lady some time recently. So there was no reason for holding a resentment. Or wishing to cause an individual assault. The man had a clean record. 
So he was not a serial executioner either. The police seem not discover a association between the offender and the casualty. Atkins chose to stay quiet amid his cross-examination. He was charged and sent to imprison on $50,000 bond. The man's attorney said his client is guiltless until demonstrated blameworthy. He will be going to all his court hearings. But until at that point. There's no lead on why he attempted to seize the young lady. The boys were exceedingly lauded by the community for their bravery. And shrewd choice making. It's superior to be secure than too bad, indeed in spite of the fact. That they as it were had a feeling. They still called 911 and detailed the occurrence. Furthermore, they taken after the man and spared the young lady. Their endeavors were recognized by all. The teen's act of bravery was the conversation of the town so much that it was secured by news channels all around the nation. Individuals were taking their interviews, printing out their pictures, and their faces were all over the daily papers and media channels. The casualty, who chose to stay mysterious, had announced them as heroes in each of her interviews. But the boys were greatly humble almost it. They said, she says we spared her life. I figure you'll say we did. But I do not need to be that individual who says that they're a saint. The girl's appreciation toward the boys was self-evident. From her various acclaims coordinated at them. But indeed Aaron specified in one of his interviews. That he would like to remain in touch with her. In spite of the fact that he will do so as it were after the examination and court trial's conclusion since he didn't need to intrude with any of that. Trusting your intestine intuitive demonstrated to be a useful thing in this case. Had Jamal not noticed the trouble on the girl's confront. He never would have caught the fellow in a circumstance and the obliviousness would have taken a toll that young lady her life. So, it is noteworthy to be cognizant of our environment. You never know what might happen with those who can't talk for themselves. Camera catches what father does when mum isn't domestic. She frantically hoped she was off base approximately him. In the event that she wasn't. She couldn't bear to think of what that would cruel for them. Her heart started to pound as she associated to her camera gadget. She clutched the situate firmly as she inclined forward. Abruptly, her jaw dropped as she observed in doubt. What was she seeing? Amanda's entire world was her child and her spouse. She got hitched to Sam right out of tall school nearly ten a long time prior. At that point. One and a half a long time prior. They had there to begin with child, Xavier. Amanda felt that she was living the finest life she might. But the sentiments she'd been having recently. Were approximately to undermine all of that. Amanda had everything she ever needed, a satisfying career. A cherishing spouse and a lovely child boy. She regularly pondered how she got so fortunate. Her spouse Sam was steady and continuously empowered her to reach her career objectives. He cherished seeing her doing what she cherished and seeing the pride it gave her. They were the idealized group. Or so she thought. Like all relationships, theirs wasn't idealized. But it still worked until child Xavier came along. In spite of the fact that Amanda was so energized to meet her child boy. She was moreover scared approximately losing her work as a high-profile columnist. She couldn't manage to be a stay-at-home mother. The realization implied the couple required to have a part of difficult discussions. One that inevitably finished in tears. As Amanda earned more than Sam. They concurred that Sam would remain at home and see after infant Xavier whereas she worked. It made the foremost sense. But it was moreover an intense blow for Sam, who too cherished his work as a visiting performer. In any case, they proceeded as arranged. And everything worked out for the superior. But before long, Amanda taken nota exasperating alter in Sam. At to begin with, it was little things like when Xavier cried at night. And Sam started to guiltlessly rest through it. He'd demand that Amanda do it herself. 
This happened for a whereas as child Xavier started to have inconvenience resting. When it proceeded. Amanda brought Xavier to the specialist and was calmed. When the specialist said he was impeccably sound. But she felt something was off. She inquired Sam in the event that he was making him rest. As well much when she was at work. That he couldn't rest at night. Sam was irate that she hopped straight to accusing him. He raged out incapable to discover his words. But from what Amanda saw recently. Sam appeared so tired and uninterested in Xavier when she was domestic. And she may feel them developing separated. But this was fair the starting. Amanda felt that her spouse had been acting unusually. He was being more far off than normal. And it continuously looked as in case he was considering almost something. But he'd never tell her what the matter was. She didn't know that she'd before long discover out something approximately. Her spouse that would make the hair on the back of her neck stand up. Amanda gone up against Sam once more. But this time she too said a handful of other things that were on her intellect of late. Amanda taken note that each day when she'd come domestic from work. The put continuously looked so clean. It didn't see like he played with their infant at all. What was he doing with him when she was at work? The truth was unfathomable. Sam stood some time recently Amanda and shook his head. In case you need to know so terrible. Why do not you remain at domestic as well and take notes, he murmured. All of a sudden. Amanda knew what was happening. Did he detest her for making him remain at domestic whereas she kept on work, for a moment, she pondered on the off chance that he hated her. But what was clear presently was that he wasn't attending to tell her anything. So, she made a arrange. Furtively, she bought a spy camera and set it up in their living room. She frantically required to know on the off chance that her spouse was taking great care of their child when she was absent. Why wouldn't he fair tell her what they got up to? She had a right to know. When she didn't get it why he was acting so in an unexpected way recently. But before long. She was approximately to discover out. A caretaker cam or spy cam could be an awesome way of keeping track of your kids. You fair press record and can. At that point observe the recording any place at any time. Much obliged to a convenient app on your phone. But Amanda may never have arranged herself. For what she found when she seen the film of her spouse and their child. The another day. Amanda went to work. Not being able to think around anything. But observing the film captured on her spy cam. She was more apprehensive and on edge than she thought she'd be. She frantically trusted that she wouldn't see anything she didn't need to. On the off chance that she did. She didn't know how to handle it or what it would cruel for them. Her heart started to pound. Amanda had preset the camera. Which she'd set up the past night. To start recording when she got up for work. She didn't indeed think to tell her spouse approximately it, why ought to she besides. She felt that she shouldn't have had to. When she got her lunch break. She chosen to open the app on her tablet and observe the camera film. She was lost Xavier. But she didn't know what she'd captured on the camera. Amanda opened her portable workstation in her office and associated it. To her spy cam gadget. She clutched the situate with her sweat-soaked palms and inclined forward. It was the minute of truth. Would Sam be the father she trusted him to be? It wasn't long some time. Recently her jaw dropped and her eyes swelled with tears. She couldn't accept what she was seeing. Whereas searching for a few piece of intellect as she ate her lunch at work. Whereas observing the spy cam film. Amanda thought she'd discover a few charming minutes of Xavier. To send to their family. But she never anticipated that this time she had caught something else altogether. The video begun with film of her child within the living room. Amanda smiled to herself as she observed her cherished child. Sam looked like he was doing clothing within the foundation. But at that point all of a sudden. He showed up within the shot. What he did following changed everything. In fair many minutes. 
her husband's genuine colors were brought to light. Amanda observed her spouse spend hours playing with infant Xavier. He sat another to him and played with a box of toys. Remaining patient and fun-loving when Xavier thumped it over and climbed interior. He strolled in and out of the room. Bringing modern toys and distractions for them to play with. Counting rebellious just like the drums and piano. He moreover bolstered him and changed his diaper. Xavier didn't cry once. But that wasn't indeed the foremost amazing portion. At that point. She watched as their playdate drew to a close. And Sam cleaned up all the toys as small Xavier made a difference him. The put was spotless once more fair in time for Amanda to reach domestic. When my spouse saw it. She cherished it and posted it to Facebook. Which was the starting, Sam said as he talked almost how the video. Got out into the open. But was he disturbed she planted the covered up camera? No, he said. I do not intellect. In case anything. I thought it was cool to see back on how we associated. I fair cherish my small man. But on the off chance. That anyone's pondering almost where their tops went. He clarifies, he had turkey hot mutts and applesauce for lunch. And we both got applesauce on our shirts. Which is why we took them off. A wave of blame hit Amanda after she realized she was off base to address him. Of course, he was depleted after doing this all day. I adore it. I can observe it a million times, said the sorrowful. Doubtful mother with recently discovered pride in her spouse. She knew she had to share the minute with the world. And it wasn't long some time recently the comments came pouring within. The video that moreover made the rounds on YouTube was called. Mother finds out how father observes the kids. A few watchers complained that this title was deluding. Since they were anticipating something less inspiring. Am I the as it were one who thought this was getting to be terrible? Jace Bailiff inquired. Vidi Caddy composed, from the title. I thought this fellow was a child abuser. Boy, was I off base. After this video went viral. Sam was named, Father of the Year. Best Father of the Year Compensate. Goes to whoever he is, commented Susanna Danielle. A YouTube client. Gabriel Klopp, concurred. This man may be a father who adores his kid. But within the conclusion. Amanda's underhanded act caught something invaluable. When Amanda initially set the hidden camera up in her living room. She had as it were anticipated to be able to keep an eye on things. And maybe capture a number of charming recordings of her infant. In step, she got something indeed way better. Her spouse appearing what a committed father he was. In fact, this can be a clip she'll treasure until the end of time. Amanda's astounding video of Sam with Xavier isn't there. As it were time something like this has been caught on camera. Lisa Roth transferred a video titled, Covered Up Camera Captures Father. And girl moving to Justin Timberlake's Can't Halt the Feeling. On YouTube in May 2016. And once more. It appeared a given father doing his best to engage his girl.